mwishimu wa naibu speaker, nataka ntoe mifano michache kwa taarifa ya BOT ya mwezi April. Manufacturing industry imeshuka kutoka 1.3, 1.4 million US dollar mpaka, 500, mpaka 870 million US dollar. Maana yake tumepoteza dola milioni miatano. Re-export imedrop kwa dola milioni themanini. Fish and fish products imedrop kwa dola milioni ishirini. Lakini, on the other hand, credits kwenye agro sector zimedrop paka kufika negative 9.2. Transport and communication zimedrop by negative 21.6. Building by three by, by negative three. Hotel and restaurant in a drop by seven percent. Mushmonaibu speaker, export of traditional crops. Bida peke ilio grow ni korosho. Na not because of volume, because of price. Tobacco imeshuka kutoka mwakel fumbili na kumna tano three hundred and forty three million US dollar. Mpaka milioni miambili na themanina moja mwaka elfu mbili na kumna saba match. Cotton imeshuka kwa dola milioni kumi. Kahawa imeshuka kwa dola milioni tisa. Karafu imeshuka kwa dola milioni kumi na tatu. Saiso ime, ime grow only for one million US dollar. Mwishibu naibu speaker, capital goods, capital equipment, Capital goods zimeshuka mpaka negative 16.7. Transport imeshuka kwa 23.9. Building 19.3. Machinery 11.3. What is the problem? Problem ni unpredictability ya sera zetu za kodi. Mwishmo naibu speaker, nitatoa mfano wa, wa sheria ya uwekezaji kifungu namba 19. Sheria hii tumeibadilisha mwaka elfu mbili na tisa kwa kufuta utaratibu wa deemed capital goods ikashusha investment. Tukaibadilisha mwaka elfu mbili na kumi, tukaibadilisha mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na mbili, tunafuta na kurudisha. Tukaibadilisha elfu mbili na kumi na nne, tumeibadilisha mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na tano. This is the same country, sheria ile ile. Leo unaweka incentive kesho unafuta. Mwijage hata hubiri kwa injili na kurani. We will never go through. Nataka nchukue mfano mwishimu naibu speaker. Success ya industrialization ni private sector. Na mwishimu wa raisi amesema. Nimechukua kitabu cha miaka mitano cha mpango. Hakuna hata peji moja. Inayongelea na mnagani private sector itakuwa included kwenye growth of economy of this country. The problem is the Ministry of Finance. That is our biggest problem. Mwishmo naibu speaker, nataka ni kupe mfano mwingine. Ninayo report ya World Bank, ilioifanya Tanzania micro reforms for agribusiness. Ili uanzishe kiwanda kidogo cha kuzalisha maziwa. Unatakiwa uwe na document zifuatazo. Upate incorporation business license kutoka Brela, premise registration, equipment and truck registration, product testing and reg registration, staff health certificate, ongoing inspection, import permit, export permit, way, way measures. Ili uzipate hizi, zinatakiwa zipite Brela, TFDI, TBS, diary board, OSHA, Ministry of Labor, Way and Measure, NEMKI, TEMP, all of this. Nani anakuja kuwekeza hapa? Ushauri wangu. Mwishmo naibu speaker, Deputy Director wa, wa Deputy Managing Director of International Monetary Fund, alikuwepo Tanzania. Amesifia sana uchumi wetu kwa kipindi cha miaka ishirini. Lakini amesema mambo matatu. Naomba ni nuku. First, it is essential to increase investment in an effective way to address key bottleneck in the economy and, and create more jobs. Our area to create jobs ni kulink industrialization na, na agriculture. 
tusipofanya namna hiyo hatuwezi ku create kazi Mheshimiwa naibu speaker nitoe mfano wa machinga leo na nimeongea na mheshimiwa waziri wa Tamisemi ameahidi kuipitia hii sheria ya fedha ya serikali za mitaa leo tuna sheria ya fedha tuliyoifanyia mabadiliko mwaka 2012 ambayo inamtaka mfanyabiashara alipe service levy service levy ya 0.3% wewe ukiwa unauza Coca-Cola double taxation angalia hii Coca-Cola kwanza atalipa service levy kutokana na turnover na muuzaji wa nzega anatakiwa alipe 0.3 on the same product ambayo mmei taxi from the producer mnakuja kumtaxi from the agent na mnakuja kumtaxi retail seller how can we grow business like this Mheshimiwa naibu speaker kaka yangu mwijage utazunguka all over the world alikuja nataka niwape mfano leather industry waliongea mheshimiwa wa bunge hapa mheshimiwa naibu speaker kuzalisha one square feet ya ngozi Tanzania ni senti 14 dola Ethiopia ni senti 8 India ni senti 7 Pakistan ni senti 8 how can we compete na why kwa sababu sisi tumeweka export duty ukizalisha ngozi Tanzania kuexport unalipia kodi ukiimporti chemicals kwa ajili ya ku ngozi unalipa 25% tax unalipa 18% VAT how can we grow how can we grow mheshimiwa naibu speaker kwa heshima kabisa nataka niombe serikali na waziri wa fedha there is no way in the world una taxi inputs kodi zote lazima ziwekwe kwenye output una taxi vp inputs unaongeza cost of production nani atawekeza mheshimiwa naibu speaker serikali ime, ime BOT imefanya imefanya mabadiliko yake kwenye mfumo wake wa 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 wa, wa, wa interest nani ataenda kukopa there is no way ndio maana ripoti ya BOT inaonyesha lending imeendelea kushuka kwa sababu hakuna sehemu ya kwenda kufanya biashara. Sasa hivi wa machinga tunakusanya tuna kodi za halmashauri vibaya mno. Hawakui hawa watu. Mkulima kodi. Machinga kodi. Akiweza kufanya biashara yake, mwekezaji kodi. Nataka nishauri serikali, Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Viwanda, weka toa direction dunia ijue.